Okay, so I saw Austin McConnell made a video called A Solid 20 Minutes of Useless Information. And the information really was useless, but the video was really good. So I thought, hmm, I want to make something like that, but with a little bit more sciencey goodness. And that's exactly what this video is. So after a horrible 2020 for everybody, here is a simple, chilled out way to start 2021. And a bunch of friends from the science side of YouTube decided to get involved, so make sure you watch the entire thing so you don't miss any of them. Okay, let's crack on with it. A million seconds is about two weeks, but a billion seconds is around 32 years. You can relight a candle with the stream of smoke that's left after you blow it out. This is because that smoke is filled with wax vapor, which is what candles use for their fuel. So the flame travels down that smoke and looks like it's jumping from the lighter to the wick. I actually have two science facts. I'm gonna, I'm giving a bonus here. The first is that of the estimated 100 million people to have lived on planet Earth, more than half, it's estimated, have died of malaria, which is crazy. And then the second is that if you had a rope that stretched around the equator of the Earth, assume the Earth is like perfectly, perfectly spherical, right? And then you wanted to lift that rope off the ground by one foot on the entire circumference of the Earth, all around the equator, if you wanted to lift it up, the amount of extra rope you would need to add to that rope is only like 6.28 feet. It comes out to two pi worth of feet of rope to lift the whole thing off the ground by an entire foot. What's really bonkers is it's the same if you had a rope going around a basketball and you wanted to extend that rope off the basketball by a foot, you would also need to add two pi feet worth of rope. So basically, when you do the algebra, the R cancels out. So it's independent of the radius of the object that you're wrapping this rope around, which is just kind of mind boggling. A tomato has around 7,000 more genes than a human. Over a quarter of your bones are in your feet. It's my foot. Roughly one fifth of all known mammals are bats. Your shoelaces come undone all the time because every single step you take puts them under forces of up to 7G. White sand beaches come from the poop of parrotfish that feed by biting off chunks of coral skeletons and excreting what they can't digest as that famous white sand. My favourite science fact is that if you took all the veins and arteries and capillaries in your body, all the blood vessels, and you laid them out end to end, you would die. Every hour, over 430 quintillion joules of energy from the sun hits Earth. The whole of humanity doesn't even use that much energy in an entire year, so that is a lot of sunlight hitting Earth every single hour. But apparently, like, none of it gets sent to the UK, which is why I'm filming this video inside, because... It won't stop raining. The heaviest dinosaur was called Argentinosaurus, which weighed in at 60 to 100 tons, which is equivalent to about 17 African elephants. Did you know that tiny little jumping spiders can see the moon? That's right, with those big adorable eyes of theirs, even though their pupils are practically microscopic, because of the way that they're built, they can probably make out that big hunk of cheese in the sky. Next stop, spider astronauts, I guess. There are more hydrogen atoms in a single teaspoon of water than there are teaspoons of water in the entire world's oceans. And if you were to line up all of the water molecules in a single teaspoon of water in a long line, it would reach around 50 billion kilometers, which is like 10 times the size of our solar system. The word Sahara comes from a word that means desert, so the Sahara Desert translates to desert desert. It's called a tautology, where two parts of a name mean the same thing. It usually happens when two languages combine, and happens a lot, like with Lake Tahoe meaning Lake Lake, and Milky Way Galaxy meaning Milky Way Milky. Some species of ant can recognise their reflections in the mirror, so they might have some level of self-awareness. If you have a room of 23 people, there is a 50% chance that two of them have the same birthday, and this is known as the birthday paradox. Did you know, during the Cold War, nuclear submarines were frequently forced to return to base in order to repair damage to the rubber coating on the submarine's sonar equipment. Inspection crews found small crater-shaped holes in the equipment, and initially, the US Navy feared that the Soviets had developed secret weapons to disable their sonar. However, in 1971, it was discovered that their submarines were being attacked and damaged by the cookie cutter shark, a parasitic shark that normally feeds by biting off chunks of whale blubber. 
You can never underestimate what nature comes up with. You have a blind spot at the center of your vision when it's dark. Rod cells are responsible for low light vision, but they're located at the edges of your retinas. So when you're walking late at night, make sure that you look just to the side of where you're stepping. People in the Southern Hemisphere see the moon upside down when compared to the Northern Hemisphere. One sperm contains the data equivalent of 26 three and a half inch floppy disks. <clears throat> I gotta go. All of the gold that we have ever mined would fit into just over three standard size Olympic swimming pools. Polar bear hair is hollow and it acts so well as a thermal insulator that polar bears are basically invisible to heat cameras. Chalk is made of the skeleton remains of microscopic plankton. When they died millions and millions of years ago, they fell to the bottom of the ocean and formed an ooze. And over time, they were crushed and swished together by sediment and they formed chalk rock, an amazing pieces of art. No sequence of 52 playing cards has ever appeared more than once in a properly shuffled deck of cards. We can't be 100% sure of that, but it's less likely that a deck has been repeated in the entirety of human history than it is for me to win the UK lottery five times in a row. 99% of all species that have ever lived on Earth are extinct. When you get a kidney transplant, they usually just leave your original kidneys in your body and put the new kidney in your pelvis. A single litter of kittens or a single litter of puppies can have more than one father. Fun science fact, there are over 2,000 thunderstorms on Earth every single minute. It's kinda crazy. The Great Pyramids of Giza and woolly mammoths coexisted for almost 1,000 years. Sharks were on Earth before trees, around 100 million years earlier. There are about 1.4 billion insects for every single person alive today. The moon is about 400 times smaller than the sun, but the sun is 400 times further away. The result is that from Earth, they appear to be the same size, and that's why they line up perfectly on a solar eclipse. You could fit all of the planets in our solar system between the Earth and the moon with room to spare. A typical cloud of about one kilometer across, one kilometer long, and one kilometer tall weighs around half a million kilograms. Okay, so there's just this one science fact that lives in my head rent-free. I learned it 10 years ago. And it's the fact that platypus, not platypi, because that doesn't make any sense, they're mammals, so they produce milk, but they don't have teats. Instead, they have these patches that kind of just sweat milk. And that just haunts me. At 4,020 kilometers wide, Australia is wider than the moon, which is just 3,476 kilometers in diameter. We consume nanoparticles of gold without realizing it, thanks to it passing up the food chain, and we excrete it through our skin and hair. And babies have more gold in their hair thanks to getting more through breast milk. And it can reach levels that are double the average concentration of gold in the Earth's crust. The peacock mantis shrimp uses two appendages like clubs to pummel its prey. They accelerate to 50 miles per hour quicker than a 22 caliber bullet does, which causes the surrounding water to briefly reach the temperature of the surface of the sun. The last meal of Ertzi, the 5,000 year old ice mummy, was wheat, red deer and ferns, but we're not sure if he ate the ferns or just used them to wrap his meat. Octopuses have three hearts, nine brains, and blue blood. Their brains are split into a central brain and eight big clumps of nerves at the base of each arm that controls movement. Wombat poop is shaped like cubes. <clears throat> Fruit fly maggots, which normally just eat soft, squishy yeasts, if you force them to be cannibals, don't ask how, they will grow more teeth in response to make it easier to attack other maggots. A speck of dust is halfway between the size of Earth and an atom. So as large as the Earth appears compared to a speck of dust, the dust is that much larger than an atom. You might know that grizzly bears eat lots of fish, but they also love eating moths called army cutworm moths. They can eat up to 40,000 of them in a single day. In the future, we're just not gonna have any tides anymore because the moon moves away at around four centimeters every single year. So in 50 billion years time, it'll settle into a nice synchronous 47 day orbit around the Earth. But by that time, the sun will already have been a red giant and scorched the Earth, so we have nothing to be concerned about. If you have two legs, that means you have more legs than the average human. There are more trees on Earth than there are stars in the Milky Way galaxy. There are more microorganisms in a teaspoon of healthy soil than there are people on Earth. There's also more different species of bacteria in that single teaspoon than there are different species of animals in the Amazon rainforest. 
If you take two extremely clean pieces of metal and place them together in a vacuum, they can stick together and form effectively one continuous piece of metal by a process known as cold welding. Baby bees produce chemicals that keep their grown-up worker bee caretakers awake. Volcano lightning can happen in the huge ash clouds of volcanic eruptions. There are microorganisms called protists that eat viruses. Before 2020, we thought that viruses were too small to be eaten by anything. Giant pandas and red pandas, which aren't closely related, have both separately evolved an extra finger-like false thumb from a wrist bone, which lets them both handle bamboo with more dexterity than anyone else. And what a skill to have. When sperm whales can't digest squid beaks, they cover them in a hard waxy substance called ambergris and then poop them out, and we humans find that whale poop and we use it in perfume. It smells really nice. In Mandarin, penguin translates to business goose. Babies have around 100 more bones than adults. You might think that the Amazon rainforest is our planet's lungs, but more than half of the oxygen you breathe comes from the oceans, mainly from microscopic ocean plankton. Now may be the winter of our discontent, but here's something Shakespearean that's a little less grim. Approximately 200 billion of your atoms were once in Shakespeare, because the Earth's atoms have constantly been recycling over time. That value does include atoms that passed through him rather than were him per se, so if you only want to count pure shaky pea body atoms, then the number is probably around 10,000. There's a place in the Pacific known as Point Nemo. It's the furthest point from land in every direction, and at certain times of day, it is closer to the International Space Station than it is to any landmass. Come here. Come on. Yeah, good boy. According to archaeological and genetic evidence, dogs and humans have been hanging out for nearly 20,000 years. Right? There are nearly 6,000 satellites orbiting Earth right now, and about 60% of them are not operational, so they're just space junk. Antlers that are found on animals like deer, elk, and moose are the fastest growing tissue in any mammal, and they can grow around two and a half centimeters a day. Bamboo is one of the fastest growing plants in the world. Certain species can grow 910 millimeters each day, which is around one millimeter every 90 seconds, so you can actually see it growing. At 21.9 kilometers tall, Olympus Mons on Mars is the largest mountain in the solar system. It is so big and its slopes are so shallow that it curves with the curvature of the planet. So if you stood at the bottom of it, you wouldn't actually be able to see the top because it would be past the horizon. Reindeer have evolved ultraviolet vision. It lets them quickly see the urine of predators and also their major food source, lichens, which absorb UV light and stand out against the snow of the Arctic, which reflects UV light. The foam on top of beer has a softening effect to the taste of beer. This is a trigeminal sensation. This is the same thing that happens when mint feels cold or chili feels hot. This stuff here is called lichen. It's actually algae and fungus living together, and they need each other so much that they can't actually live without each other. You've probably seen it growing all over the place, which isn't a surprise, because this stuff covers like 6% of the entire Earth's surface. People who integrate technology into their bodies are known as biohackers. These citizen scientists use implants to enhance their body's functionality, like Bluetooth, routers, magnets, and programmable microchips like this. Venus is the only planet in our solar system that spins clockwise, and Uranus spins on its side. Camel humps don't store water. They store fat for a portable source of food when it's scarce. Mercury travels around the sun in 88 Earth days, but it rotates so slowly that its sunrise to sunset period lasts 176 Earth days. So its day is longer than its year. Siberian tigers can grow to half the length of a London bus. In the sea between Australia and New Zealand, there is an island that is taller than it is wide. It's called Bull's Pyramid, and it only measures 300 meters across, but peaks at 562 meters in elevation. The world's oldest living rose is over 1,000 years old, planted in Germany in 1815. Three-toed sloths spend 20 hours sleeping each day, but koalas sleep even more, racking up 22 hours every day. Dolphins, on the other hand, can't actually sleep. They have to consciously control their breathing. It's not automatic. So if they went to sleep like us, they'd stop breathing and eventually they'd suffocate. So to get around this, they sleep with one side of their brain at a time. Onomatophobia is the name given to the fear of names. Baby elephants suck their trunks for comfort. Emus are the only birds that have calf muscles, and they also can't walk backwards, but we don't know why. Hawaii moves 7.5 centimeters closer to Alaska each year, due to the Pacific tectonic plate slowly drifting northwest towards the North American tectonic plate. And that's about the same speed as how fast our fingernails grow. This is the elephant nosefish. It looks weird. 
Christmas tree worms have crazy tree-like structures extending from their bodies that catch tiny plants and animals. Flamingos aren't pink. They're naturally white, but it's their diet of brine shrimp and algae that turns them pink. A tiger's skin is striped, just like its fur. Butterflies drink turtle tears in the Amazon. It is impossible to tickle yourself. And lastly, because it's right at the beginning of the new year, you might have made some New Year's resolutions, which you might not be able to keep in a few weeks' time. But only around 25% of people actually manage to stick to their New Year's resolutions after 30 days. So hopefully that makes you feel a little bit better in a couple of weeks when you inevitably eat that entire family-sized chocolate bar all to yourself. And with that, you have just sat through 15 minutes of science facts that are probably going to be pretty useless to your life. So the question is, what was your favourite? Thanks so much for watching this the whole way through, and a special thanks to everybody that got involved. This was so much fun to make, and I really can't wait to make the next one. That's right, there's going to be a next one. Make sure that you share this around so others can experience in the pure uselessness of these facts. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss any of that fresh, zesty content straight out of the oven on this channel very soon. So with that, thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next one, my friends.